that's the real you. So he tells you, here, take two of these every day. And I'm telling you, here, take two of these every day. Amen. Amen. He telling you, take this medicine. But the Bible says my word is medicine. Yes. The Bible says my word is life. My word is spirit. He says my word is meat unto your flesh. The Bible says he sent his word and he healed him. The Bible says through the word of God we overcome. You got to understand he's giving you his medicine because he's been still a natural man. But I'm giving you a spiritual medicine because I've been standing the spirit man. And the spirit man is always greater yes. than the natural man. Yes. Amen. Amen. But if you don't take the compass off, out, you get lost. Because you got so many conflicting voices. And so now you get turned around. Have you ever driven on a road that you thought was going one way and come out the road and turn to another one? There's a road on Atlantic out in Carl Springs. I don't know the name of it. But that road will mess you up. It done got me a couple times. And I grew up in Broward County. But it's a road right up Atlanta Hill that you make a left on, and if you ain't careful, that thing will spin you all kind of ways, and you'll come out of that neighborhood, you won't even know where you went. Life is the same way. Life will hit you on this side and that side and spin you around and drop you down and drop you up and you won't know where you are. But if you keep your compass out, yes. if you keep your compass out while you're riding around the road, you will always know where you are and where you are going. Yes. I know what they're telling you out there. That's why you need this. Yes. Because if you keep listening to them, you're going to get turned around. But if you keep this out, yes. see, if you listen to the man who's trying to get your attention, he'll spin you around. Yes. But if you keep this out while he's talking, it'll stop him. You understand what I'm saying? If you put this away while he talking and just start listening to what he's saying, you're going to get spinned around. You're going to get spinned around. Because he's going to tell you whatever he thinks you need to hear or That's want right. to get That's what he's right. trying to get. He'll spin you around. But if you can keep this out while you're listening, if, if you can keep this out, and let this govern your decisions. If you can keep this out and let this govern your mindset. If you can keep this out and let this govern you rather than your emotions, rather than your feelings, rather than what you feel on the inside, the butterflies that are in your stomach, or the thoughts that are going through your mind, or the lust that's in your face. If you can keep this out and let this govern your decisions. I feel like doing this, but I'm not going to do that because this is telling me that this way is the right way to go. If I go by my feelings, if I go by how it looks, if I go by how it sound, I'm going to get lost, I'm going to get cut off, but if I keep my eyes on this, I never get lost. Because sometimes I might feel like I'm going west, but I'm, but I'm, I'm going north. Amen. I'm going Amen. north. Amen. How do you know you're going north? Because it's telling me that I'm going north. And this can't lie. Everything in me is screaming west. Everything in me is screaming west. Everything is screaming the wrong way. It ain't working. It's not working. Turn around. Come up with a different idea. This thing, you've been doing this for too long. Everything is screaming wrong way. But then when I open this up, this thing say, do north. I got to stay on the path. I got to stay on Because the race is not given to the swift. It's not given to the strong. It's given to the one who's able to. There are some things that you'll never see come to pass in your life until you learn how to.
got to stay to the course. This thing say, do no. I got to stay right here. I got to stay. Everything, every, matter of fact, I see people turning around. I, I see other preachers turning around. I see other preachers closing the doors. I see other preachers saying, you're stupid to keep your doors open. But this thing right here is telling me, do no. Do no. I'm shaking because I don't know which way to go. I don't want to mess up. I don't want to say the wrong thing. But this thing is telling me, do no. Yes. Do no. I got to override all that I feel. I got to override all that I hear. I got to override all of the negativities. And I got to keep my eyes on this. Because this is the rule that has to govern my, listen to what I'm saying. It has to govern my life. It governs my life. It gov that's why the Bible says don't be unequally yoked. It, it, because when you find somebody that's not saved, you got somebody that don't have anybody governing them. Amen. But if you find another Christian, then it doesn't matter what you go through in life. You got somebody who has a governor over their mouth, a governor over their mind, a governor over their action. And they might be mad, but they're coming home because they got a governor. Yes. yes. I live by a different rule. Amen. I live by a different rule. What's the rule we live by? That I'm a new creation. And the new creation that's created in Christ Jesus can't get sick. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm going to keep saying it until I wear it down. Y'all coming with me. You're coming with me. Yes. I'm going to keep saying it until I, I wear down all of your resistance. I know some of y'all, your skin you know, get tight when I said it, but I'm going to keep saying, and the new creation can't get sick because he's born of God. He's recreated in Christ Jesus. He's not of this world. He has already overcome this world. He has already passed from death to life. He's born of the word of God. It's incorruptible. It's immutable, unfindable. He cannot get sick. He cannot be contaminated. He is an offspring of God. He's born of glory. He can't get sick. Hallelujah. Somebody say, well, I sure feel sick. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, a feeling. That's exactly what it is, a feeling. But the Bible says we don't walk by sight. We walk by faith. We don't allow our feelings to govern us. We don't allow our emotions to govern us. We don't allow what we think to govern us. We are governed by the word of the living God. That's what we do. That's how we move. That's how we make our decisions. We let the word govern us. Not my feelings. If my feelings govern me, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. <laughs> I, it's a good thing God saved me at a young age. Because as a, as a person, as a human, I'm not worth the hill of beans. As a human, without Jesus, I ain't no good. I'm just as corrupt, as petty, as petty can be. Burn the whole house down, now ain't nobody got nowhere to live. <laughs> That's how petty I am without Jesus. Just burn the whole house down just to get, get you, and now I'm homeless too. Everybody out the door is sleeping, but I got you. Roll over and give me some more blanket. That's how petty. See, I know my, I'm petty. I'm a petty person. But Jesus, but Jesus, But Jesus, how did I end up preaching? 
with my personality. But Jesus. But Jesus. We, have, we can't be governed by our feelings. We can't be governed by our emotions. We can't be governed by what we think or even what we feel. We as Christians must be governed by the word of God. We live by the law of life. I am a new creation. And as a new creation, there are certain things that don't apply to me anymore. They don't apply to me anymore. I'm a new creation. I'm a, you got to get, I'm a new creation. You can't be a new creation and still be broke. You can't be a new creation and still be poor. It doesn't go, to, it don't go together. It, it doesn't compute. It doesn't match. You're not poor. And my job is to help you realize that. You're not poor. Absolutely you're not poor. You, you can't be poor. You could never be poor as a new creation. It's impossible. How can an unlimited God be joined to you and you have limits? You have no limit. You are not poor. But if you think you're poor, then you will behave like a poor person. And if you behave like a poor person, then you will produce property. I'm going to say that again. If you think like a poor person, even though you're not poor, Amen. you will behave Amen. like a poor person. Amen. And your behavior like a poor person yes. will produce poverty in yes. your life, even though you are not poor. Okay. You have been delivered from poverty. Mm -hmm. That's why God told the boy, stay here. Stay here, Isaac. You don't have to run because they run. Because you're not the same as them. Stay here, Isaac. You have a covenant with me that they don't have. Stay here, Isaac. But ain't no water. Stay here, Isaac. You might not have water, but you got me. Stay here, Isaac. And let me show you my power. Stay right here. Stay right here. And when everybody was running and hiding, the Bible says Isaac took his seed. He took his seed and sowed his seed in dry, crusty ground. He took his seed and put his seed in dry, crusty ground. No water. But the Bible says the seed that Isaac sowed in dry ground brought up a hundredfold heart yes. without yes. any water. Yes. Because the blessing of Abraham was upon Isaac. Yes. Was upon Isaac. And so even though the ground was dry because he was blessed, this ground had to bring forth fruit. Because the blessing was not on the ground, the yes. blessing was on Isaac. But Isaac, God had to show him that. He had to show him that. I can take, I can take a little bit and take a little bit and do what people couldn't do with a whole life. Yes, man. true. Because the blessing is on your life. And everybody looking at how, how you did that, how you Jesus. did that. The blessing, he lived by a different rule. Yes. How can he take that little bit of stuff? True. How can he take that little bit of stuff? and accomplish so much, the blessing is on this life. You know, when I first came, when I, when I when the Lord stopped me in this church, somebody told me I come here. Told me it wasn't the wisest wise decision. And I was gonna have all kinds of problems over here. But God had told me that this was the place for me to come. And where others might have failed, I won't fail. Amen. Because God has blessed me to be prosperous. Yeah. You, have, you, you have to understand that. You are where you are right now, and you are there to win. And everything you need to win is there. You just need to be awakened to the truth. That's right. That you are blessed. Mm -hmm. That the favor of God is on your life. 
you're going to have to look for this. I'm talking to Christians now. If you're born again, then the favor is on your life. And you have to have a dependency on that faith. I look for him to bless me. I, I look to him I to bless me. I, 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 I expect for God to open doors for That's me. right. I expect, I expect for God to bless my socks on me. Yes. God, I, I'm looking for God to bless yes. my socks on me. Yes. And when I give, that's how I give. I'm giving because I'm looking to him to bless my soul. I want to do stuff that when I look back, I say, God, you are so awesome. Faith. You are so awesome. Look how you bless me. Look how you bless my children. Look how you bless this ministry. Faith. Why? Because his favor is on me. We live by a different set of rules. We are the new created being. Stop running around looking for help. You are the help. Amen. You're looking for a blessing. You are the blessing. Yes. He has blessed you so that you might be a blessing. Yes. Everybody that's joined to you is going to come out better because you're there. Amen. We live by a different set of rules. Put your hands together. Amen. Amen. I'm going to continue this because I don't need to get into my...